What's going on, everybody? It's your boy ADNS All Day, and I'm here to do the SmackDown review for January 13, 2023. The headline for the night was the Bloodline Medal and Fight between Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. So, this is the picture. And we're going to be staring at this picture for a minute because, yeah, this website, they haven't updated it yet. Like, I don't know. Sometimes I haven't seen this do that in a while, to be honest. But it's all good, though. I, I pretty much watched the whole show, and I can pretty much tell everything what happened real quick. So, and again, I'm going to link the final hour watch along. So if you want to see our reaction for the final hour, I'll link that to this video. And so in the beginning, it was Gunther versus uh, Braun Strowman for the IC title. And, yeah, I thought Braun was going to win. I, I did notice that his clothes was different, though. I noticed he didn't have his red on and all of that. And then he was wearing these shoes from some person who died. So they really had us going, basically thinking Braun was going to win. Braun was looking pretty strong through majority of the match, too. I mean, they even had Gunther running out the ring again. So I'm like, okay. But in the end, after a pretty hard-fought battle, because Gunther battles do be, like, hard-fought and – yeah, in the end, Gunther hit him with a Gunther bomb and ended up winning, man. So that was a shock. That was a shock because I wasn't expecting uh, him to lose so quickly. But after seeing Braun lose, though, it just lets me know that the rivalry is not over. The feud is not over. Like, they're going to continue this feud with him and Gunther and his, his you know, his homeboys. And they're going to wait probably for a pay-per-view. And that's when Braun will win it. See, they want, I guess they want Gunther to still look a little strong. So when Braun does win the title, it'll mean more because he lost once. So now when you win it, it'll like mean a little bit more. And now they can stretch the time out too between him and Braun. Um, I know we got to sit here and stare at Sami Zayn all shocked. Um, then we had, right, and that's when the Usos, base, well, that's when Sammy tried to approach the bloodline locker. And in the locker room, that's when Paul came out and he was like, yeah, the bloodline isn't here. Nobody's here. Solo, no Roman, nobody's here. So Sammy was like shocked, like, wow, they left me hanging. They not going to be there with me tonight for my fight against Sammy. So that happened. Then um, it was some other stuff. Then you had a match with, with Liv Morgan and, and Raquel, Raquel won. Um, uh, more Bray Wyatt stuff. Him just really talking. Nothing too much with the Bray Wyatt stuff. Charlotte had a fight with Sonya behind stage. So that, that ooh, like anybody's interested in that beef. So they'll be keeping that little feud going, even though you no know, Charlotte clearly beat up Sonya, no problem. Um, it was a match between Tegan Knox and Zaya Lee. Tegan Knox beat Zaya. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? What else? It was another, like, it was something else that was a little interesting. See, this is why I try to look so, you know, because I, I remember it, but it's like some stuff slip your mind. I mean, they were kind of, that first match did take up a lot of time, though. Like, time was kind of going. You know, Rhonda's gone. I don't think she's coming back, you know. And it was really just about the fight, you know. That KO Sami Zayn fight was what it was really about, man. And they went at it. I, that match was more more hyped than what I expected it to be. And it was actually good. And Sami actually put up a pretty decent fight, man. He put up more of a fight than what I expected him to do in this match. So, you know, I guess Sammy a little props for that. KO and them, they fought hard. That fight was getting gritty. So, again, if you want to see my reaction, please go watch it because it was getting gritty. But the only thing I didn't like is, is how it ended. I don't like how the hell it ended. Like, it literally ended in the worst typical way. The Usos and, and Solo come in the ring and they just beat the hell out of Sami Zayn. And that's how the show ends. The show ends with them beating the hell out of, I mean, Kevin Owens, my bad. Beating the hell out of him, putting him through tables. And Sami just looking shocked and looking. And you see how Jay coming. You see, like, Jay coming and helping him. Like, yeah, we did it, man. We whooped his ass, man. And Sami's like, no, I wanted to win that fight. No. Because the whole time, Sammy act like he cared about him. Like, he was acting emotional the whole fight. And then after that happened, he really was looking emotional, looking crazy. So, yeah, that happened, too. 
And I'm trying to think, was there any other matches in between that? I know it probably was. Like, I don't know. It, it was a lot of backstage stuff going on. It, it was in these matches. The first match and the last match were pretty long. I told y'all the other matches. So I know this review is not going to be that long and detailed because I'm kind of in a little hurry, too. Like, I'm sorry. I just got some things I got to do. But I wanted to just let y'all know what happened. And plus, they're not showing it. They haven't updated this shit. But y'all can definitely go see my final hour watch along. And y'all know I'll definitely be back for the next episode of Raw. Which would be right around the corner. But, I mean, this episode was decent. It was decent, man. I'll give this episode a 2.5 out of 5. Because the matches were pretty good. But the endings were like, what the hell? But the, 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 the Gunther one was a shock, though. But this match ended so... Like, y'all couldn't come up with any other creative finish to this. Like, nothing else creative. All right, y'all, come on. Let's just run in there and just beat them up. And, and it's a DQ. Like, damn. So, you know this ain't over. I knew this match was going to probably end weird, too. Because here they go. Like, oh, Kevin Owens contract signing. So, it's like, what's the point? It's like you telling us too much, you know, ahead of time. But then expecting us to worry about a fight. And then you end it weird as hell with this basic-ass run-in and beat down. Like, what in the world was that, man? 2.5, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode, y'all. I'll be back for some more stuff. This is a crazy, somewhat, somewhat crazy episode. That ending, though, like, what the hell, man? What the hell with that ending, right? But I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.